Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. My name is Josh Topper. I want to talk to you guys about uh, Nylatron. This is a product I've been using for quite a while and you've heard mention of it several times and I've done a little bit about it with it. Um, but this is some hollow bar Nylatron that I make bushings out of quite frequently. Um, I have multiple sizes of this. Uh, there's GS and there's GSM, and I can't entirely remember the difference. One of them's cast, one of them's extruded. Um, I'm going to guess the GSM is the cast, or is it the extruded? It might be the cast. And then it comes in multiple different materials, you know, styles. You got the hollow bar tube. Here is GSM solid. This is a uh, Two and a half inch. Yep, two and a half. And I do have it down to one and a quarter. That's the stuff. And we'll be making bushings out of this here and there over time. Um, like I said, it's really good stuff. The wear characteristics of it, um, it's kind of the plastics industry's response to replacing bronze. And from what I've seen of it and what I've done with it, I, I would replace everything with this. Everything bronze. Um, up to a certain application. If it's an oil bath bronze, I would leave it alone, but if it's like a grease bronze, um, change it out. Um, you can try it yourself. You can get this stuff from just about any plastics house. Um, they, uh, Quadrant Engineering Plastics is, is the manufacturer of, of like this one here. And uh, I get it from a plastic supply house locally. Um, it's, like I said, it's good material. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to machine some of this. We're going to uh, make the bushings for our gray drum drive garden tractor for our front pivot tube and our steering. So we're going to make some bushings out of it and uh, show how it machines. So let's, let's get some pieces cut, get them on the lathe, and get to work. If anybody's wondering, I'm not running this camera at high speed right now. This is actual speed, cutting speed off Nylatron. One of the big problems with this stuff is you get this string going and it likes to wind back up on itself. Um, you know, I know you can cut this with high speed steel with different uh, different cut angle on your high speed steel, but I like the carbide, I just like to go. Um, 
I've been doing carbide for a long time and I, I wouldn't change it for nothing. I love carbide cutters. Just uh, so much better than having to hand grind high speed steel. Um, except for on the, the shaper or the vertical slaughter. Then, then we hand grind, but uh, for the most part, you, I, carbide is so much better. So let's see where we're at and uh, see how much more we got to take. We got to take 325,000. Well, let's take 322. Sometimes they blow off the side of the lathe, but sometimes it just drops right down into the chip pan. But, uh, just that it's a great material. Right on. Right on what I needed, my finished size. So let's uh, flip that around and we'll cut the exact same thing on the other side and then I'm going to part it off and then we'll bore the bore. Alright, so I slowed this down some because I don't want the part to come flying off, hit the camera and do all kinds of damage. So we're gonna we're gonna part this off and then uh, clean them up and get them ready for uh, pouring. Again, this is not high speed. This is actual speed. Okay, so this is where Nylotron gets a little more troublesome is the boring, especially on these small bores. Uh, it likes to bind up in there, plug up, and then it'll burn. Um, so it'll start burning my, my uh, against between my boring bar and the, the internal uh, bore of the, the part. So, um, I'm just going to do this high, you know, I slowed the lathe down a bit for this, but I am going to run the camera in high speed just to show this, um, and I'll probably cut the sound out because I do uh, take my air hose and I blow the chip through. So I blow into the bore as I feed in. So as I'm feeding, I'm blowing air in here to uh, push that chip out the back to uh, hopefully eliminate that problem. Let's get started. is essentially done. Um, other than you always get a little burr on the back side in the bore. It's as simple as taking your deburring tool, just your standard deburring tool. Get in there and just carve that off of it. Uh, this stuff is just incredible to work with. Uh, you know, just kind of a fun fun material. And it's just a bushing, so it's not like you're going crazy with it, you know, high precision, you're, you're trying to give yourself a little bit of room for, for grease, and, uh, but the wear characteristics are, are exceptional. Just quickly deburr it. Simple as that. That bushing is done, ready to be installed. So I know we kind of blew through that pretty quickly. Um, but <laughs> that's Nylatron. The stuff is, is so easy to machine. Um, 
if that, and just a utility knife or a deburring tool is all it takes to clean this stuff up. Um, you know, it's it's been a great material that I've been working with for quite a few years now, so um, been very happy with it. So until next time, subscribe to our channel. There's going to be lots more to learn here. We're going to really push some good uh, good content and learning, and then like I said, all my outside uh, contract work. There's some fun stuff there. Uh, like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website www.toppermachine.com. And uh, until next time, let's get out in our shops and let's get it done right the first time. <laughs>